blissful day. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to be telling you guys what products I use for my hair. Um, so some of them are staples, and then some of them mm, I don't really use that often, or I'm just using it mainly to like just get rid of it, you know? So the first product here, um, it's really my own concoction of oils, but before this, um, there were some oils in it that I did use. Um, so before this, it did have argan oil, coconut nut oil, jojoba, sunflower, essential oil, swell, sweet orange, fir needle, rosemary, and cedarwood. Um, and a handful of these ingredients are organic. Um, so with this oil here, I leave it in my hair or I apply it to my hair like once a week. Um, I just think putting oil in your scalp and make sure, making sure your scalp gets the nutrients that your hair gets is very important because that's where your hair grows from. Um, now, before when I was natural, um, every wash day I would spray some Eden Body Works Tea Tree Peppermint Oil in my hair. The best thing. I would say add that to your routine. Add oils to your hair. You know, that oil is a very light oil, so it doesn't leave your hair oily or anything. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, but if your hair is short, you don't have to worry about that in the first place. Um, another oil I use, which is a newbie, but it's going to stay with me forever because it's the best oil I've ever used. Okay, is um, this. Now, I got this from TJ Maxx, and I've always wondered, like, why do people say castor oil grows hair? Like, okay, it grows hair, but why does it grow hair? Like, what makes it grow hair? You know, that's really the main thing I wanted to know. And um, it says here, um, castor oil carries ricinolic acid and omega-6 essential fatty acids which accelerate blood circulation to the scalp, hence increasing hair growth. Ah, oh, okay, so yeah, I understand now. Um, this one, as you can see, it's a very light oil, and castor oil is very thick, so yes, they did add other oils to it, but the other oils they added to it and extracts are very, very, very good, so it's not like um, any chemicals. Um, so the first, I'm going to name the first couple of ingredients, um, soybean oil, canola oil, fragrance, and castor oil, and sweet almond, olive fruit oil, and sunflower seed oil, etc, etc. The other ones are oils too, which are all very good things. Um, so yes, I really love this. It's very light. Um, so if you don't like heavy oils, I would definitely suggest this. This is from Defil. And then that stands for a different fill. Um, so online, this is like maybe $7.99 or more on Amazon. And then I got this from TJ Maxx. This was $3.99. So this one is definitely my hands down favorite oil to use. And I will continue to always buy it. Okay. So this one here... Um, OG X, I only use it because it smells good and for shine. This does say it um, tames frizz, um, but I don't really care about that. Um, it just smells really good, and I just spray it on my hair a couple times a week. Um, so yeah, that's all I use this for. Will I get it again at this stage? No. Maybe when my hair gets longer. If I allow it to grow longer, I'm really trying to actually grow my hair out because I keep cutting it. This is my third time being on this journey. Um, and it's like, dang, you know, you think like, oh my gosh, you know where I would be, right, girl? I would be here right now. Like, I will do it. I won't cut it. Okay, hopping into the moisturizers. I'm gonna start with my least favorite. Um, so that's going to be this here. The Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. Um, so this is not something I would get again. I do like how it moisturizes my hair. I'm not going to lie, not going to lie. 
Uh, says it's for dry, damaged, or color treated hair. Um, the ingredients are really great. You know, it's a good moisturizer, but I don't know. I just, it's not something I love. You know, it's not something I would grab or purchase again. Um, so the first couple ingredients are water, shea butter, and coconut fruit extract, and gardenia flower extract, and radish root. Ferment filtrate, which sounds interesting. Um, so the ingredients are amazing. I will give it that. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's not something that when I apply it to my hair, I'm like, oh my God. Like, you are the best. Like, I'm in love with you. No, I don't feel that. I don't feel that way. I just don't feel the same, you know? Sometimes you just gotta let it go. And I don't have a lot of this left. I only have, like, this much. That's all I have left. So, yeah, it's not something I'll purchase again, but it is something that I use for now. And I've had this uh, for a while. I had this since I was natural uh, last time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, for now, what I do with this is I add it to my spray bottle and um, I just spray it in my hair throughout the week just to moisturize my hair. This baby here, I'm sure everyone knows of this product. Um, obviously, it smells amazing. Now, my first time using this was not my best because, you know, I apply all my products in the shower and as I was applying this product, it just felt so dry on my hair. I don't know, like, it just felt so dry. I mean, the first is coconut fruit juice, which, you know, I'm assuming it's coconut water. Um, so yeah, that's the first ingredient, and glycerin, and yada yada. But it didn't feel great on my hair at all. You know, it didn't. Um, oh my. So yeah, this is what it looks like in case you guys have never seen it before. And I hope you can see that. Wow. Let me, okay. My God, I gotta put this on my hair. See, now when I put it on my hair now, this was not supposed to be a part of the video. It's just, it got like on the rim of the top and I don't want to apply it. Like I don't want to close the top and then it's like oozing out. So, but as you can see, it goes in my hair very softly. <laughs> um, yeah, but when I applied this product in the shower with my hair being drenched wet, my hair did not like it. Um, last but not least, I only used one deep conditioner because it's the only thing I could find that works to my hair that my hair absolutely loves. Um, which is gonna be this here. It's called a uh, Lasetta, and it's a really good product. It makes my hair feel so soft. It goes through like butter, and it just—it's the best thing I've ever used in my life. It's the best deep conditioner. I've tried others from other brands like Shea Moisture. My hair don't like Shea Moisture um, condition, deep conditioner. Um, so yeah, this product is super great. It's really thick, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it, it makes your hair super soft. And the main ingredients are macadamia and argan oil, and it re rejuvenates and moisturizes your hair. It's um, definitely great for color if your hair is colored, and it's free of sulfates and paraben and gluten. So yeah, and it also says something about a pH. Um, I, it says pH 4.5 through 5.5. I don't know exactly what that means, if that means that's what the product, I don't know what that means. But, I mean, if you do know what that means, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, but my hair loves it, so that's, you know, great news. Um, Ingredients-wise, now, <laughs> it's a little hard to pronounce some of these ingredients. I mean, you know, water's the first one, and then, yeah, it's just hard to pronounce. 
Um, so yeah, with that being said, that's really all I have for this video. Um, a lot of these products are going to be staples. A lot of them, well, actually just two of them I'm using just because I have them. And I won't purchase them again. Mm, but as far as shampoo and conditioner, I don't have a staple shampoo and or conditioner. You know, for me, shampoo and conditioner, they're just shampoo and conditioner, you know. Um, so yeah. But if I had to say which one, obviously Aussie Moist or uh, Shea Moisture's Shea Butter line, Shea Moisturizing Shea Butter line. I like that line a lot. Um, so yeah. But if you guys uh, have any questions or suggestions uh, for the products that I showed you, uh, please leave your comments down below. And I will definitely appreciate that. But I thank you guys for watching again. Goodbye.